Alrighty, everybody. It is week number six in college football. Well, you already know what's the big game this week. It's the second week of October. State Fair would be going on. And, well, Oklahoma and Texas are just, well, their defenses are just not good. So the Red River rivalry, the Red River showdown, the Red River shootout, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be Sam Ellinger, Coach Tom Herman versus Coach Lincoln Riley, Spencer Rattler, if you don't, that burnt orange and that maroon will be showing off in Dallas, baby. On Fox, of course, at noon. Um, that's really the big game in that time slot. Of course, you know, Virginia Tech, North Carolina is also a big game at that same time. So I think I'll be watching both those games, of course. And let's see how... Um, I haven't seen a Virginia Tech game yet this season. But I have seen North Carolina play, and they got to close out a little bit better, honestly. And this should be a great test for them. They're number eight in the country, taking on Virginia Tech, who, by the way, has has barely played at all this year. Um, they just started very recently, like a couple weeks ago. So, you know, there's that. Um... The 330 slate looks a little bit interesting too. Um, of course, you got undefeated Tennessee, undefeated Georgia at 330 or 230, depending on where you live at. And also Texas Tech, who gave Texas a fight in Iowa State. You know, you know, Brock Purdy and company are looking to get another big win in Big 12 play. They're looking to Close the gap. Maybe, you know, get to a Big 12 title this year. Iowa State is. I think that they'll, you know, this should be fun, honestly. But keep, but mostly keep your eyes on Tennessee, Georgia. Um, Tennessee is just beating up on teams already this year. But, I mean, you know, last week was Missouri. So that doesn't really count. Georgia just beat up on Auburn and just did not care. You know, they just, defense was suffocating. Um, they ran the ball very well. I mean, it's just, it's just Georgia. So, Guantanamo, who's been here for like 17 years at Tennessee, he's gonna, he, he's thriving in this COVID-19 climate, let me tell you. And, and Georgia, you know, they got a new quarterback and everything like that. And he's doing just what he needs to do. I mean, what can you say about Mr. Bennett? He's just doing what he needs to do. Um, let's see. Going down the list here. The big game later on at night will be Miami versus Clemson. 7.30, 6.30 Central Time, of course. And it's going to be that vaunted Clemson team, you know, taking on upstart Miami. Uh, Miami where their defense has improved a lot. Miami where De'Aaron King has been playing very good football. A Miami team to where they can get receivers open up and down the field. Clemson. You know, they struggled for a little bit against Virginia, but it was ultimately not enough to do anything. Because, I mean, clubs just, they just beat up on Virginia. They've been beating up on the ACC for the past five years. So, this is a huge, huge est. And I got to tell you, if Miami gets this victory, I think there will be something. There'll be something going on in the ACC. Gonna be something big, let me tell you. So, aside from those five games, there is a game on Thursday, there is a game on Friday, but nothing else really, you know, comes out and just says, oh, well, this should be interesting. Um, especially late. 
you know, Florida State is bad. I mean, and, like, I mean, they're taking on Notre Dame at the same time, but, like, who really cares? It's Florida State, you know, and they suck this year. They've been sucking for, you know, the past couple of years now. No point in watching them get beat up by Notre Dame. And, again, the slate is just light. We, we still have a couple of weeks to go before, you know, the other conferences get back into it. And what we do have is fine. 